Now, this program has obtained a video of the meeting in Pakistan in which a Labour peer reportedly called for a bounty on President Obama's head. It appears to back up his claims that he never made those comments. But he did make some equally controversial remarks about George Bush and Tony Blair. As Jane Deeth now reports. A business reception in Haripur in Pakistan. Lord Ahmed, seated in the middle, is guest of honour. Yet in the write-up in a Pakistani paper, it seems he was misquoted in dramatic style. The paper said that on the subject of an American bounty on the head of this man, wanted militant Hafiz Saeed, Lord Ahmed announced his own bounty for the capture of President Obama and George Bush. When the Labour Party heard that, it suspended him. But here's what Lord Ahmed actually said. America ne abhi kaha hai. America has just said they'll give a reward of $10 million to anyone who arrests or hands over Hafiz Saeed. I'm saying that even if I have to beg in Haripur, Pakistan, the US, Britain, I'm willing to raise and offer £10 million so that George W. Bush and Tony Blair can be brought to the International Court for Justice on war crimes charges. Even if I have to sell my house, I'm ready to do it. Lord Ahmed says calling for George Bush and Tony Blair's appearance in court is not the same as offering a bounty for their capture. But the distinction was lost in translation, perhaps, because he'd been responding to the bounty offered for Hafiz Saeed. He founded Lashkar-e-Toiba, the militant group suspected of being behind the attacks on Mumbai. Hafiz Saeed is very much visible and vocal in Pakistan. Here he is on TV mocking the bounty for his capture, saying if the Americans want to meet him, he'll happily run through his diary with them. I'm sitting in front of you. Today I'm sitting with the leaders of the Defence Council in Pakistan. Tomorrow I'll be in Lahore, and I'll also tell you my schedule for the day after tomorrow. Questioning the American bounty for Hafiz Saeed has got Lord Ahmed in hot water. But Britain's first Muslim life peer has never shied away from debate from Gaza to the war in Afghanistan. He's been in trouble before. He spent 16 days in prison for dangerous driving after admitting texting on his phone before a crash on the motorway. But this time, has he been wrongly censured by the party he's been a member of all his adult life? Tonight, we sent Labour the translation of Lord Ahmed's speech in Pakistan and asked whether his suspension still stands. Labour says it does, but pending investigation, and the party will consider all the available evidence. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Lord Ahmed himself, and I asked, asked him exactly what he did say. Uh, well, I talked about um, investment in Pakistan, I talked about rule of law, and I talked about due process of law. Whilst I was talking about lots of international issues, I talked about the war crimes committed in Iraq, Iraq and Afghanistan and innocent pe people killed there. And I believe that Tony Blair and uh, George W. Bush uh, have something to answer and they should be taken to the International Criminal Court. Uh, I did say that and I didn't say it for the first time. I've said it before. The language you used, according to our Pakistan producer who's translated it, was quite colourful. Uh, they say that you said, even if I have to beg in Haripur and the whole of Pakistan, the US or Britain, I'm willing to raise an offer, £10 million, so that George W. Bush and Tony Blair can be brought to justice on war crimes charges. Raise an offer, that's a bounty, isn't it? Well, actually, I did not say raise an offer. Basically, uh, this was done in Nerdu, and uh, there are people who've been naughty in doing the translation. I did say that any legal costs, if we have to raise funds for legal costs, uh, that I'd be happy to join in. Uh, but I, I think that this whole story has been exaggerated. There are something like 50 newspapers in Pakistan. None of them have quoted this type of thing uh, which uh, this Express Tribune has done. And there were many, uh, literally, dozens of uh, reporters there. But a bounty I didn't do this is, in isolation. I didn't do an interview with this a... particular newspaper. I did it in public, and I do that in London too. But a bounty is money to bring someone to justice. I've You're never talking mentioned about money bounty. to bring someone to justice. What is the difference? I have not said a word. Well, there is a difference between uh, bringing somebody to justice in a legal way, in a legal process, is very different from a bounty that you should go and catch somebody and bring them uh, to wherever, uh, because that gives a different type of uh, uh, translation. Do you think uh, it was a mistake, though, to talk about Blair and Bush in the same sentence as, as Hafiz Saeed? Well, I have nothing to do with Hafiz Saeed. Uh, Hafiz Saeed, however, has been 
uh, released by Pakistani courts without any charge. Uh, so I think I have to respect Pakistani courts as well as I respect uh, uh, British courts and others. But and, Hafiz you know, Saeed founded a violent extremist group and Tony Blair won three elections in a row. I mean, you've got to admit perhaps it was a mistake, wasn't it? Well, uh, yeah, I don't compare, you know, I don't compare Hafiz Saeed with Tony Blair. Please, you know, uh, Hafiz uh, Saeed has got many allegations against him. Tony Blair was a, a great leader of the Labour Party. But I was talking about international law. George Galloway's invited you to join the Respect Party. Is that an invitation you'll be taking up? George is a great man. I have great respect for him individually, but politically we have differences. I'm a member of the Labour Party and I will remain so.